Hey guys, it's Griffin, and today I'm doing my first editing tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to sync a clip in After Effects. So, what this means is you basically line it up with the music so it has a really nice flow and everything is timed perfectly. So, the first thing obviously you're gonna need a song so the first thing I do is I find a song that I want to use so I go and get one off my SoundCloud most of the time and I'll have a link to this in the description because I've noticed that a lot of people like to use the songs that I use so let's see I'm just gonna find a good song that would be good for syncing let's see uh, I'm gonna use this one. <laughs> go through the song and find where the beat drops so okay so it's at about like 28 seconds so i'm gonna open after effects now and i will see you there okay so now i'm in after effects and we're ready to sync our clip with the song so <clears throat> i'm gonna import my song I chose file import file I'm gonna go to my downloads <clears throat> and import that and then you're gonna drag that to the new composition button so now it's in our composition and now I'm gonna import the clip that I'm gonna use uh, I'm just gonna pick a random clip uh, spies I have a clip pack from him so I'm going to use this 1440 plane shot and drag that in there to your composition and then I'm just going to hide the audio and the actual clip because we're not going to use it yet so our beat was at like 28 seconds I think so I'm going to start playing it at like 25 so I can find exactly where it is and I'm going to drag my timeline to about right there so I can start playing it right there and then find the beat so make sure you have your song selected so when you make a marker, um, it'll make a marker right on your song, if that makes sense. So to play it and find the beat, I'm going to press 0 on my keyboard. Oh, and also when, you, when the beat drops, you're going to press the star button on your keyboard if you have that. Okay, so now I've made my marker. And I'm just going to go right to it. Um, and I actually want to have the marker up here on top instead of right in our layer. So I'm going to delete that and do shift zero. So if I go somewhere else and I press zero, it'll go right to it. So then I'm going to unhide our clip. I'm going to drag it to our beat. And then drag it to where you see the gun flare or the bullet flare. So right there, that's good. Yeah. So once we've done that, I'm gonna press Control Alt T on our keyboard to enable time remapping, which is how we're gonna sync and uh, give flow to our clip. Then I'm gonna add a keyframe marker or uh, time remap keyframe right where our drop and gunshot is. So now, um, if we add other markers to our clip then uh, it'll still stay at the gunshot where the drop is so now I'm gonna find where we want our clip to start um, so I'm gonna want it to start like right around here so yeah I'm gonna ram preview by pressing 0 on our keyboard and wait for it to ram, pe ram preview and then once you find where you want your uh, clip to start you're gonna press them you're gonna press the star button to make a marker okay so I want my clip to start right there because the song had a beat right there so I'm gonna do control alt D to cut your clip and delete the part that you don't want in it and now I'm gonna ram preview it again Alright, so that's nice so far. Now what I'm going to do is going to open uh, open your clip so we can see our time remap tool. 
Uh, I'm gonna go to where the clip starts right there and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this forward a bit so our, um, before we shoot before the uh, spies shoots it's gonna go a little bit slower than the clip actually is so just drag that forward a little bit now I'm gonna ram preview it again so you guys can see what it looks like <laughs> So as you can see, right around here, it goes a little bit slower, and I think that looks nicest. So now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find some beats that I want to speed up and slow down before he shoots. So I'm going to ram preview it and then add some markers where we don't want it to speed up and slow down. Okay, so there are a couple of beats right there that I wanted to speed up and slow down, so I added some markers right there. So go, uh, go to those markers and then add a keyframe. I'm get I'm gonna drag this one forward a little bit. Wait, Control Z. Yeah, like right there. And now you guys are gonna see what this does. So before we do that, we haven't really done anything yet. But before we do that, I'm gonna ram preview it again. I'm, I'm gonna see where we want the kill cam to start and the regular clip to end. So I'm going to have the clip cut off right there. So I'm going to add a keyframe. Or actually no, I'm going to drag it backward a little bit. And I'm going to have it end like right there. So control shift D. I'm going to hide the kill cam part of it. And I'll that's nice so far so now what we're gonna do to give it flow is we're gonna turn on easy ease and you guys are gonna you get sorry you guys are gonna see what that is right about now so I'm gonna select all my keyframes that I've made and press F9 on your keyboard or if you want you can right click it and then keyframe assistant and easy ease so now just click one of them and we're going to open our graph editor and zoom in a little bit. So this might look kind of complicated at first, but you'll get really used to it after a little bit. So now just basically do what I do. I'm going to drag this. So as you can see, that one right there, that's where the clip starts. So I'm just going to give it like no wave or anything. Just drag it forward like that so it's right on the line. And then right here where I want it to speed up and slow down, I'm going to drag this down. Then I'm going to drag this one up. So it slow down, slows down and speeds up. Then I'm going to do the same one for that, uh, this one. And I'm going to press 0 to go do our gunshot. And I'm going to do the same thing actually. And then right here at the end of our clip, I'm going to want it to speed up at the very end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this down to like that. So now you guys are going to see what this does when we ram preview it. <laughs> keyframe that's at our shot I'm gonna open our time graph editor I'm gonna drag it down a little bit farther than up more so it has a little more like velocity to it when he shoots so I'm gonna ram preview all right so that looks all right I'm really just showing you guys how to use it it doesn't look too good but um that's how you sync so far <clears throat> and now I'm gonna sync the kill cam now the kill cam part of the clip so just click off of that off of your clip and then I'm gonna add a marker where I want the kill cam part of the shot to start so I'm gonna ram <laughs> and at that marker I'm gonna have the kill cam part of it shoot I'm sorry if I'm not making a ton of sense right now because this, this is like my first editing tutorial so I'm not really sure how to explain everything but hopefully you guys are understanding the basics of this.
So I'm gonna delete the marker and do shift one. So whenever we click one, it'll go to that part. And I'm gonna unhide our kill cam part. I'm gonna drag it till we see the gun flare. Right there. That's where it shoots. So I'm gonna open that clip and then add a keyframe marker. Um and then what we're gonna do is right here, go to go to the timer map part of the other clip and then you're gonna press this left arrow right here and I'll take you to the end of that clip and then you're gonna cut cut this clip by doing control shift D and then cut that part and then open your clip again. So now uh, the kill cam part of it doesn't overlap with the first part of the clip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this back so our kill cam isn't too slow. I'm gonna round preview that and see how it looks so far. Alright, so now I'm gonna drag this forward a little bit. I'm gonna round preview it again and then see where I want my clip to end. Gonna wait a little bit longer. All right, that should be good. All right, so I put a marker right there by, by pressing star on my keyboard when I heard the drop, or not the drop, but the beat in the song that I wanted to end at. <clears throat> and I'm gonna zoom in to see exactly where the marker is. Yeah, that's good. So I'm gonna drag that forward a little bit, and we're gonna. Just drag it to where you want the clip to end. So I think that's good right there. And Control Shift D, I'm going to cut that. Now drag that back. And I'm go like what we did in this clip, I'm going to see where I want it to speed up and slow down. So I'm going to ram preview it and add some beats or some markers where the beats are. Okay, so I'm going to have it speed up and slow down at those markers, so just do the same thing. Zoom in. Add your keyframes. <clears throat> and do the same thing. Select all the keyframes. F9. Shortcut to easy ease it. And just select one of these and do pretty much the same thing. So like that and then over here I'm gonna have it speed up and slow down so drag this down and then this up and do that to your next one and do that to the shot too And then at the end of the clip, I'm going to have it speed up. So just drag this down a little bit. And let's see how that looks. Okay. Uh, yeah, that looks fine. Actually, no. I don't really look like how that looks. So I'm going to... I'm going to have this... I'm going to have the clip start where he jumps off of the plane. Like that. And now, see, it looks all messed up because um, I had our keyframe at, like, a farther point back. I don't really know how to explain it, but I'm going to drag this up, like, right there. And then drag these up, too, or else it'll go backwards. Okay, so... No, that looks fine. I'm going to see how it looks now. Alright, that looks a lot better in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much how you sync a clip. Well, that's the basics of it at least. I probably do this a lot different than experienced editors do it, let alone use time remap because most uh, experienced editors use Twixter, but I've always used time remap, so... That's just what I'm used to. Uh, so yeah.
hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and didn't get too confused during it because I know I didn't explain that very well at all. But also I'm thinking about making like a separate a separate channel to upload like my edits and editing tutorials because I kind of want to keep this channel graphics based because that's what people like more it seems like. So let me know if you would like to see a separate channel for that. Uh, so yeah, leave a like and comment if you enjoyed this tutorial and I'm out.